Hello students. Now, today's topic in data structure is we are talking about the single linked list traversal and research mechanism in already existing linked list. So, how to traverse in a, in a single linked list? Let's talk about that. So, in the previous lecture, we are talking about the how to create a linked list and how to insert your nodes in the already existing linked list. So, let's talk about the first case is uh, write an algo to find the number of nodes. So, okay. So first case is how to write uh, 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 a code in which you have to count the number of nodes in already existing linked list. So that's again a part of the traversal. So in this case we can say uh, we have a one code which one says that it's an algorithm to find the number of nodes. Let's say it's a one function defined by the count and uh, here we can say the function returning nothing that's a void. Okay. Now we have to create a one local pointer let's say pointer ptr is equals to start. So let's say we have uh, some already existing linked list. And this is start is pointing to the first node in the linked list. Let's say 9, 2, 5, and then 12. Now, let's say in case of this PDR is supposed to start. So we can say that the PDR is pointing to the starting node that PDR equals to start. Now, we have to, in order to count the number of nodes in the already existing linked list, so you have to create a one counter variable, which uh, is basically our integer type. So let's say integer c equals to 0. c is an integer type variable which can count the number of nodes present in this linked list. Next, obviously, now how to count? Let's say we have to create a one loop which can traverse from the first node till the last node. So we can use this PTR, which is pointing to the first one in the linked list. We have to create one while loop, that is why the PTR is not equal to Null. So while the PDR is not equal to null, we can say the PDR, the PDR is pointing to the first node. And obviously in this case we are using the PDR because the it can count the last node as well. Now when the PDR, the first node, the PDR is not null, so you can increment the counter C plus plus and then PDR move to the next node. So in this case, what you can do after counting the first node, the PDR is equal to PDR next. So your PDR is basically moving what in the next node. And again, we can check the PDR is not equal to null. Yes, PDR is not equal to null. Then again, we can count what? This C++, that is C equals to 2. And then we can say the PDR equals to PDR next. So in this way, it can count 1, 2, 3, 4. And it can count the number of nodes present in this already existing link. So this is called the traversing part. And then after that, the final counting is available in this C variable, which you can print after this loop. That's this many nodes are present in this link list. That is, Percent is the total number of nodes that is what defined by this C variable. Now the next one is we are talking about this is we are talking about uh, the how to count the number of nodes present in the already existing linked list. So next one is that write a C function, write a C function to search an element in the list and return its location. That's important. First you have to traverse the linked list and then find out the whether that the element is present in the linked list or not. If it is present, then at which location it is present in the linked list. So that's an important part here. Let's talk about it. So that's in this case, uh, so we can say here, it's a C function. In this case, uh, we can say, uh, we can write a one function that is search, again an important one. In this case, let's say, this is your already existing linked list. And your start is pointing to here. And let's say some elements are 9, 12, 3, and then there's a 15. So in this case, we can say which element you want to search. That's a variable. Let's say an integer type variable. You can take any, any type of data in that linked list. So I am taking here only the integer type variables, and then let's say c equals to 0, that is what the count. Now enter the key element to be searched, which element you want to search in this key. So that you can take and then that you can take with the help of the scanf statement. In this key, we have to find out, let's say, uh, if you have to find out the 3, or you can say the 50, or you can uh, give any number, let's say 50, 60, 70, or 80. So, at the time of searching, because here the complexity is, there is no choice, the complexity is linear, so there is no need uh, to, you can answer, after, after searching all the nodes, then you can say that, that element is uh, present or not present. So this is, I think, the complexity is there, you have to search from the first node to the last node. So you can take any key here, and now you can start searching with the help of the one local pointer that is PTR, PTR equals to start. So you point your PTR is pointing to the first node in the playlist. 
Now you can start your while loop. While the PDR is not equal to null. Again, say I'm saying that there are two terms you can use every time in the while loop, whether the PDR max or the PDR. And the reason is that when you have to check for the last node, then you can use PDR. If you have to stay at the last node, then you can use PDR next. Because uh, the PDR pointing is pointing to the last node, but it cannot check the uh, data in the last node if you are using PDR next. So here, because you have to check the last node as well, so you have to use what? The PDR, not PDR next. So here, because the while the PDR is not equal to null, in this, every time you have to check whether at that particular location, your key is there. That means the PDR data is your key. For example, if you have to search for the key is, let's say the key is three. So if you have to search for 3, so in the first node you can say whether the PDR data is your key. No, it is not. So you can say after that you can what? You can move your PDR is moving to the next position that is PDR equals to PDR next. Okay, now PDR is pointing to here. Again, why do condition check whether the PDR is not equal to well? yeah, No. So you can say if the PDR data equals to key, no. So you can say PDR equals to PDR. So PDR is again moving towards the next node that is at what that is at 3. Now again why do condition say that why the PDR is not equal to null? You guys PDR is not equal to null? Yes. If the PDR is data equals to key, yes, because your key is value is what? Your key is 3. And obviously your PDR data is equal to key 3, then it is an element found at the location. The important is the location value. That is what at which location and that location is given by what? C value that is a counter variable. So at the location that is printed by the C and the address of this printed by the percent P that is what printed by the PDR because PDR can hold the address of that particular element or the key at the particular node. So you can print both the location and the address of that particular one and then obviously you can break it. Break it because there is no further checking after that particular node here. So in this way you can search your element where it is present in the already existing linked list and after that there is no need and one more thing if there is a multiple redundancy is there and you need to check all the elements in that one then you can remove this break statement in this while loop so that it can check all the nodes further otherwise if you can say whenever the first element encounter in the already existing linked list then it can break at that moment it cannot check further nodes in the already existing linked list okay so in this way you can search your data or element in the already existing linked list thank you